Hi everyone, my name's Nikki. I'm an electrical apprentice. I've made this fault fine board to help you get through the capstone. This particular video is on installation resistance where we actually use a mega and put 500 volts through there to check the integrity of the circuit. Okay, so the very first thing that you've got to check is your consumer mains. Okay, so a couple of things have got to happen. Your MEN needs to be removed. Remove your MEN. Your incoming neutral okay from the consumer mains that go to your main board also needs to be removed okay so that's my incoming neutral that's my MEN both are out all my RCDs and circuit breakers need to be switched off okay my main switch which was on now off has got to be left on okay so you want your main switch to be on okay now with your consumer mains you're actually testing earth to your load side of all your um of your supply okay so l1 l2 l3 and then you're actually going to test from your neutral to l1 l2 l3 okay so that's for consumer mains so that's got to be done also for sub mains all right get your mega out you should have a one mega iron resistor to use uh on the day to calibrate your machine okay so basically, you're switching it on, put it on to your installation mode, you want 500 volts, make sure that uh, you test your tester, it's working, and that when you test it, it's actually on the zero. If not, use a screwdriver, calibrate your machine, okay, and then make sure it's actually, you're getting those readings when you um, test it on those testers, okay, it's pretty important. All right, so my MEN's out, my neutral's out, and I'm good to go. All right, what, a, what value are we expecting? On a brand new installation, it's got to be greater than 50 ohm, mega ohms, okay? 50 mega ohms. If it's not, and it's just an existing installation, it's got to be greater than one mega ohm. So when you go in for your fault find, you need to specifically ask your tester, is this a brand new installation that you're fault finding on, okay? Because if you get you know, uh, a light circuit with, you know, two mega ohms on it, it could actually be a fault, all right? So tip number one, ask first, is this a brand new installation? All right, so consumer mains, here we go. So you are going to test from earth bar to your load side of your main switch, which is switched on, okay? Test each one. Then you're going to go... Oh, here we go. From your neutral, okay, to each of your loads. All right, test your tester. It's deflecting. It means that it's working. Okay, and they were all up, you know, nearly at infinity, so over two hundred mega ohms. Okay, test it each time, it's zeroed, you know that they all passed, your consumer mains are fine. Okay, next thing to do, switch this off for a second, is your sub mains. Okay, so with your sub mains, it's not on an RCD. Okay, so you need to take out the neutral from the neutral bar as well. And also remember that you still have to test from neutral to active and earth to active on your sub main. Okay. So I know this is my sub main here. Okay, I'm going to pull on that. There's my neutral. So I'll pull that one out. Okay. And I'm going to be testing here from the tip of my neutral to the load side of my CB and from the other side. So I want to turn that on as well. Okay, so that's on. I'm going to turn on my leads. Zero it out. Yep, I've got zero there. So now I'm going to go earth to active on my load side of my circuit breaker. So earth. I might have to wear this. It's actually not long enough. Okay, so from my earth bar again to the load side of my circuit breaker. And it's still up around 200. Testing it. It's gone to zero, so she's good. Now I'm going to go from my neutral that I just pulled out. To the load side of my active again and again 
It's totally fine. There's no problems with that one. Okay? Now, it's time to pop those neutrals back in and then go on to each single circuit. Okay? My MEN still stays out, okay? Now, with your single circuits, your MEN's got to be out. Your main switch has got to be turned off, okay? All these circuit breakers, they need to be turned off. Everything's off, okay? Make sure your earth is reconnected back to your hot water system if you took it out early for your continuity, okay? And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to test um, from earth to active, okay, on the load side of all your RCDs. Um, if you don't have an RCD and it's not switched, okay, you need to actually find the neutral, remove it from the neutral bar and test it from there exactly the same way that we did the sub main, okay? So you, you'll pull that, that neutral out. So on your testing, you'll probably find you'll have RCDs on absolutely every single circuit except for your sub main, okay, which you would have already done, okay? So... I haven't got RCDs on here. As you can see, there's no push buttons. They're not RCDs. But let's just pretend that these are all RCDs, okay? And how you would test it then is to uh, go from your earth straight to each active and neutral, okay, at that point. Now, what sort of things are you expecting to find? Well, a few little things. If you know about elements, they're going to have a lot more resistance, okay? So... Your levels are that they've got to be, for a new installation, greater than 50 uh, mega ohms that we said before, or, or for existing, one mega ohm. Now, for an element, you will be expecting a level greater than 0 0.01 mega ohms, okay? So that's 10,000 um, ohms, okay, or 10 kilo ohms. That's okay. If you get a reading just above that, that's okay. If it's under that, it's not okay. All right. Now, the thing to remember with your circuits is you've got to have all your lights flicked on and off, okay, because you're testing the integrity of the circuit all the way up to, you know, your switching wire as well. Now, your Simisat is also going to have a little bit of resistance in it, okay, so you will get a small um, amount of resistance on that, okay. If that's the case, turn it off, okay. You've got options. Um, on this particular one, you could actually pull out your... Um, your terminals here and test from the actual cable going in or literally just pull out the element if you're able to do that if that makes it easier pull it out put it back in test it without it with it uh, test it with the simsat on test it with the simsat off okay to get your ranges and everything that you need it's it's not real hard it's it's pretty easy they won't make it too complicated um, if you've got electronic equipment on there that are sensitive you, you will need to put your insulation, um, your voltage down to 250, okay? It's the same for your protective earthing on your RCDs, which is, you know, you'll see it's like a little white cable that comes out of it. Um, quite often, you know, you've got to, you know, put your insulation down to 250, but you've got to make sure that you read your scale, okay? If it's down to 250, you need half the amount um, you know, so that you get the appropriate reading. And you're looking for protective earthing for RCDs, I think, is 50 kilo ohms. So I think it's 0 0.0, I oh, know it is anyway, 0 0.05 mega ohms, okay? So it's a little bit different, but you won't find that. Um, I think the complicated thing that you'll have is the element. And if you can show that you can, uh, you know that it's, um, it, as long as it's greater than 10 um kilo ohms you'll be fine okay so 0 0.01 mega ohms so again you know test your tester you have just tested it before it shouldn't have changed you know um, but they'd like you to see you zeroing it out making sure that you've calibrated it so it's actually showing zero on there and all you're doing is exactly what we did before but only from earth to your active and neutral okay so you go from earth and all it is testing a to n a to N. Now I've got no movement, but these are my lighting circuits. So I'm going to flick the reverse of every step 
uh, the every uh, um, switch that's there, and I'm going to retest it now. And I've got pretty much no movement in my meter at all. Okay, it's um, you know, like hovering at the 200 mega ohms. Zero it out. It's gone to zero now. I know it's working. Okay, so that's all. There's no faults there. Yeah. All right. Now I'll go to my power. I'm going to go to A. Active to neutral. Active to neutral. Now I've missed a step here. Can you see what I've done? I didn't turn all my circuits on, but that's okay. I like to flick them on, flick them off anyway. So I've done one with it off. And now I'll do one with it on. I've got no deflection at all. So I'm going from active to earth to active to earth. Okay, and that was my three phase power I just did then. That's with it off. Turn it on. Okay. And that's fine. Okay. It's mainly just the light switches that you have to be careful with turning them on and off because, um, you know, of your lighting switching wire yeah all right so now i'm going to test my oven okay and i did pick up some resistance there all right and i've got 0.5 mega ohms okay which is still well above 0.01 mega ohms so she's sweet all right okay test my three phase outlet here very little deflection, so it's fine. Okay, I've done my sub main. Now I'm going to check my hot water system. Okay, and that's all good. And that's insulation resistance. So I've put 500 volts through there. The integrity of my cable is completely fine. Okay, I flicked my two-way switches, particularly for my for my lights, um, to make sure the switching wire was included in that. And that's it. That's as easy as um, as that one gets. It's just a matter of remembering that if you um, don't have any RCDs, okay, that you need to remove the neutral, find the neutral for that uh, circuit breaker and test it from that neutral, okay? And, and the circuit breaker will, will have to be switched on, okay? And make sure that, um, you know, your main switch is, is off, okay? And that's insulation resistance. If you've got any questions, um, please comment below if there's, you know, anything, you want, any comments that you want to make, add them too, because I'm still learning as well. All right, cheers. Thanks. I hope it helps. And I'll see you on the next video.